Dentiva, Pioneer's new cooler. There they are, the hometown Boise State Broncos. They've never lost a conference game to La Tech. Tonight they try to keep that streak going in front of a hyped up crowd who has welcomed them to their famous blue turf. And Jeremy Avery, a couple of running backs, will be featured in this very good offense also. Ostriger the kick. And this is Avery from the goal line. Avery bottled up just short of the 20 to replace Ian Johnson running back and then splits to the top. So an empty backfield on second down and that is complete to Jeremy Childs. Back throwing the ball away and the line protecting him. Here's Moore on second down and that ball is intercepted. So a poor choice Weldon Brown picking it off. Uh, that is just a fun, just a, an incredibly wonderful play by Weldon Brown, the cornerback on the left side. Who was I didn't come here to lose games at the end of the year. I came here to win championships. And this time it is Johnson. And Johnson breaks the tackle. Now that running game is going wrong. Did you hear what you said? Hope for more. Receivers are split. Two tight ends. More. Plenty of time again. And once again, able to find his target. And that is complete to Pettis. Ian Johnson in the backfield now on second down. Moore taking all the time he wants before he puts it on the ground himself. He's got a first down, and Kellen Moore is out all the way down at the 13-yard line and pick up a 15. Exception on the first series. Moore to the end zone. Touchdown, Broncos. Julian Hawkins, the big six foot three, 225 pound target. Replaced now by Patrick Jackson in the backfield. Bennett has time. Strong arm over the middle and has his man, Dustin Mitchell. 50 yarder. It's going to officially be marked, I believe, as a 51 yarder, but he has the leg. Just to the side. But plenty of boot. Very impressive road win at Oregon. Kellen Moore. And Moore able to get it downfield. And he does so to Hawkins. Offense. And Vinny Peretta is in the backfield. And Peretta, the starting wide receiver. Little trickeration here. Kellen Moore going deep. And has his man complete. That's Chris O'Neill. Touchdown. Boy, oh boy, they always make it fun, don't the Broncos? They're holding on with their, with their fingernails right now. Here's Porter, the tough runner. But this time, he is wrapped up. Boy, he was carrying defenders all night long. But then it reverses itself. Steven Ravellis and Tim Brady coming in and making the fourth down stop. For allows him to keep his eligibility and play right away at Louisiana Tech. He's been every which way and all around. Over the middle. Oh, what a big play to throw it back. And all of a sudden, they go from being in a hole to now knocking on the door. And Ostricker able to put them there. Then a pass on a short down distance, and it's complete to the fullback, Richie Rockle. And inside the 30, down to the 25, a 16-yard gainer. Once again, Titus Young. And the receivers getting into the mix every which way. On the ground they go with the sweep of receiver Titus Young. And into the end zone again, a 15-yard score. This year. Takes a lot of pride in that. Here's Johnson. Big hole off the left side. Now trying to get a block from a receiver, and he does. And a big gainer for Ian Johnson down to the 25-yard line, a 20-yard run. He's got a big leg and an accurate one. Quite a weapon 
is Brotsman. Good looking linebacker for the Dogs. Play action. Kellen Moore gets it to Ian Johnson. And Johnson downfield finds a block. Ian Johnson. A little past midfield. 32 yard gain from Ian Johnson. Redshirt freshman quarterback Moore quick to get them back up there. DJ e. Harper. And Harper gets out of that mess. And another first down for Boise State. Losses of USC, Georgia, Moore. Little shake and bank, and then down the sideline. DJ Harper, he gets the call here. Can he get in? Look into the corner. Harper. Touchdown, Broncos. You want screaming in your headset right now, don't you? <laughs> That's what you're looking to achieve. This is Beck. Actually, that's R.P. Stewart. R.P. Stewart. Academic pursuits a little later on. Right now facing the second and 11. He's going to air it out. Wimus. Oh, boy. That's the big playability they've been waiting on. In it. Bennett out of the gun. On fourth down. Bennett looking for the slant. And well off the mark. He was trying to find Philip Beck. Coverage by George Aloki. Or the whack. Yeah, you're going to wind up being in the top 12 this year, I think. You're, you're going to be there. Third and nine for Moore. And he just side arms it to Johnson. And Ian Johnson. It's California, the uh, home of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, the great 1989 comedy flick and he was quoting it yesterday passing here and Harper would be fine oh look at that beautiful looking play action and more able to connect we'll get in Set up the screen at Johnson. He has blockers, and here goes Ian Johnson. It is an excellent adventure, isn't it? Inside the 10. They've gotten more talent. They spread the ball around a lot more than they used to. Harper. Into the end zone. Touchdown Broncos yet again. And it counts down to victory for coach Chris Peterson in his third season after all the magic that happened in 2006 maybe just maybe lining himself up for more 325 yards two touchdowns our final score Boise State 38 to 3 coming up next Sports Center for Rod Gilmore and the entire crew I'm Joe Tessitore thanks for joining us tonight have yourself a great evening